Welcome back guys, and yes, it's Throwback Thursday, and yeah, today we're off of Hallover Marina. We're taking my 36 foot Concept Tequila Pusher, that's equipped with twin 250 Mercury EFIs. And this boat used to belong to a good friend of mine that she had for many years, and yeah, she designed everything, interior paint job, and then she decided to sell it, and she called me up and I bought it. And like you guys already know, we're heading over to Halover Sandbar. And yeah, this is an old video. And like you guys already know, I didn't talk that much on the older videos. So I decided to go ahead and uh, do a voiceover and kind of explain what was going on. And like you see, even four years ago, the sandbar that always attracted a lot of people. Because it's always been a good place to hang out. And also, when the gasoline almost reached $4 a gallon, this was the best place to go because basically from the ramp to the sandbar was like a five minute ride. And as you can see, Ovita always been a great anchor woman. And just in case you're wondering how I did this high shot, it was a long stick that I had in a boat that I used to mount the camera on top because private drone wasn't as popular as they are today. And it's amazing when I see old videos and I see my kids being so little and then you realize that time flies because I don't remember them growing so fast. Okay, you notice anything different how it used to be four years ago and now? Okay, the difference is you're gonna notice you see less kayaks and less jet skis. And the reason you see less kayaks is because the kayaks are rented out of Little River and people didn't wanna make the journey because they thought it was too far to the Sambra. And the jet skis is that most skiers used to ride at the Miami Stadium and Nixon Sambra and hoop boats because I think back then there was only maybe one or two and there's also something different. You can actually hear the waves breaking on the side of the sandbar because back then the boaters didn't really play the music so loud and they didn't have so many party boat charters like they have now. But there's nothing wrong with that because the sandbar is big enough and room enough for everyone to have fun. And just in case you guys are wondering what type of camera I used to use back then it was a Sony action cam that if you guys recall in one of my videos not that long ago I was recording and I had it attached to the boat and it fell off and I didn't have any floaties on the camera so I couldn't recover it But something that hasn't changed even then and now is that the later the day gets, the more people show up.
something that has definitely never changed and I don't think it will ever change is that my kids always want ice cream from the sandbar.